welcome back to PC419 Talking Tech. Hope the mic is okay now. Thank you for joining in, much appreciated. And thank you, Matt, for coming in once again to PC419 Talking Tech. I'm not saying I've said my highs before. Is that <laughs> too many highs? <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me know, guys. Very funny us, golf. If there's any issues, the golf says no, no sound. Is there sound? This sound. Dini says yeah, the sound. Is there sound? Hi, everyone. Very, very funny. Can you hear us now? Oh, notice straight away. Yeah. Sus criminal. Um, sound okay? Does it need? I see a chair swap. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's everyone's noticing a lot of things tonight. Hopefully tonight in the stream you will notice a lot of new things that's coming up. So Yeah. Everyone's saying new mic and it actually isn't swap. it actually isn't a new mic. I've had the mic for a very long time, it's just that I haven't used it. So it's, I've been it's getting pretty uh, good actually, I like it. Yeah. How is the sound guys? Because we actually have an aircon running in the background. Because it's forty seven degrees in here. Yes, yeah, literally. Can you guys hear it or Pretty good. <clears throat> Pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. Turn your volume up, they say. Um, I can do that. Is that here? Can you? <laughs> Things are magically happening. Hmm? Don't touch. <laughs> Is that better, guys? Is that better? Is that better? Let us know. If it starts peaking. Sound is gone. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm going to freak out. He's fixed. All good? Yep, that's loud. <clears throat> I know we can hear the aircon. Yes. Oh, for God's sakes. Sorry? I can hear the aircon. Oh, great. <laughs> oh well, I'm turning it off. You're turning it off? Yeah. Oh, just as I got hot. This is how much I love you all, I swear, yeah, each so and every single one of you. Okay. Strampy just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you, Strampy. Thanks, Strampy. mate. Thanks, it. Strampy. Cheers, buddy. That is awesome. I think I was getting a stupid Aorus ad looping. What's that? Somebody doesn't like Aorus. Poor Marky. Come on, Mark. Get in there. Defend yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Defend I know. it, defend Look, it mate. Gigawatt, I'm one of our um, obviously PC for one of our sponsors, so we have, you know, I've got to, you know, sort of play along with it. So, in regard to that, they are a very good brand, so... Fortunately, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Tell what you've done now, but can you started something? <laughs> Guys, um, how are you all tonight? How is, how's the weather where you are? Because we are literally roasting. I'm actually going to set the offset on that. Absolutely roasting. Hopefully. You didn't play with that before? Um, yeah, I did. Ooh. Let me know if that's any well, better, that, guys. That, that's very laggy. Huh? Yeah, I know, but the, it'll be the audio offset, so that's ah, sure I'll pick okay, it up. Okay, okay. So that is picked up. Who am I kicking, much. Danny says. <laughs> so when do we get our Red Bull merch? <laughs> I like Aorus, yeah. but it looped 50 times. It played, mm -hmm. it played twice. Oh. It played twice. It's showered here in Townsville. Let's swap. Wobbly 17 degrees. Yeah, it's about... It was 34 today in Melbourne. Or 36. Was it 34 today? Yeah, it was ridiculous. It's ridiculous for us because... What's the weather been previously? 18s, 20s. 18s, 20s. It's been... Like 18s and 20s is perfect for us. Especially in the studio, it's perfect for us, though. But yeah, it's absolutely stuffed in here now. What do you do? What do you do? Um, <coughs> let me know stuffed. how the audio is going. If there's an issue with the offset, I've actually tried fixing the offset a couple of times now. It's just not. It doesn't want to play. What is it? What are you looking for? Uh, the video offset to the audio. I've tried doing it a few times now. It just keeps on. I just watched the. Um, I just watched the uh, guys. Dini put a video on PC Four and Nine Gaming of, of the. Good evening, mate. Of. Um, the hackers in PUBG. Did you oh, see, you see with where the arms come out? Arms, yeah. What the That's, hell is oh that? God. What the hell is that? I know, PUBG Australia, if you can let us know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if fantastic. you can let us know how to do it, that'd be great, thank you. No, seriously, that's disgusting. Should a, should a guy from, what, 25 minutes away? So that's how I die. I don't, do think, I, I don't do die think, to people do that have skill. Sorry? I don't think so. Cheating. He's definitely cheating. <laughs> so how's everyone been tonight, guys? Sorry about the delays, the issues. There's always got to be... There isn't one... Actually, I think we had one week. We started on time, no issues, finished on time. And yeah, done. and it was a week where we didn't 
we weren't excited about the content either. I'm pretty sure. No, I wasn't. Like, 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 nothing much has happened. Yeah, yet. like we literally. I suppose that's been we've done three episodes. We've done three episodes in one week. Yeah, that's right. And we're like, that's right. Uh, it was the week before landslide. Landslide. Yeah. Yep. Actually, yep. not the week after landslide. Was it the week after landslide? Yeah, we did Tuesday. Something on a Thursday, Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah ridiculous. Yeah, we'll blame Twitch degrees. He says it's Twitch if it worked well. It's Twitch's fault, not ours. Oh, uh-uh. I'm over it, though. I'm trying to fix it. Uh-uh. It never works. Like, oh, I don't know. I'll try and fix it later on. Sound is dropping in and out, apparently. Is it? Is the sound all right, guys, or...? Let us know, because I can quickly just change mics. Tonight's a really important episode, so we'd yeah. like it if everything could run smoothly. If you could let us know, please. <laughs> keep us in the loop if there's any issues it'd be much appreciated so um alright it's, it's not fine Outback Kang is asking us to play the 1080Ti <laughs> okay so tonight we have a few um, <coughs> there's actually going to be a lot to do <laughs> and lot. give away and you know a, it's, lot. It's, it's, <laughs> a lot of you know concerns regarding to PC 409 probably in the last two weeks um, also we've got a few announcements to do as well tonight so if you stick around for that it'd be much appreciated um any issues or concerns let us know all right earlier this week guys and by early i mean two days ago which lee really did not attend uh i caught up with a couple of people on discord and in this room right now That's which was absolutely me. amazing and lee missed out sucker I missed out. Mm-hmm. Yes. We went out to a lovely dinner and I got to catch up with uh, Show Us in the chat right now mm-hmm. and another person that I don't think is here just yet, but it was an amazing night, so thank you very much, uh, mm-hmm. Show Us, for the catch up. She came all the way from uh, New South Wales uh, to Melbourne for a wedding and uh, wanted to catch up. So it was it was great. It was great. Thank you very much for that. All right. You, you, she says. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll upgrade Show Us too. So shall we get on with the first topic? No. Let us not muck around. See you later. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Sounds breaking up. Go on. Um, yeah, so first topic for the Knights. I really can't believe this is actually happening. NVIDIA next generation GPU rumored to be called Ampere will be announced at GTC 2018. Things and are happening way too quick. They're teasing me with the, um, obviously the Empire Titan XP. The Empire Titan XP. How nice is that? <sighs> so recently, guys... How long has it been? Maybe two months? Since? I bought mine. Yeah. But two yeah. months ago... But that always happens. That's, that's rule of thumb. Two months ago, I bought a Titan XP Founders. Obviously, stock as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sort of spewing. I'm actually, the angry and I'll be honest, I'm actually be, I'm going to be talking to NVIDIA about maybe swapping my XP <laughs> out for the Empire Edition. Can I, so can I do, I, I do really an exchange? Do like, mm-hmm. a, like a blockbuster thing, you know? Take your video back. Well, they might. Rent a new one. They might. I might have to <laughs> put a good word into it, you know? So, you know... <laughs> but anyway, so they have um, obviously released a obviously Titan X Suite Empire and what was the other one? A lot, uh, Rebel. Rebels. Rebel is it? Is it Rebels? Or is it like a? Um, you know, maybe quickly go. Was it, go. What is the what's, what's the other one? Say the Rebels and there's another one. I can't remember what that one was. Anyway, so regardless, anyway, so they bought it. So I bought it anyway. So I'm sort of pissed off now that I've owned a standard Founders edition. Okay. We should be back online. The uh, the net decided to drop out. Do apologize about that. Okay. What's going on? on? What is going on? We back online. Are we back online, guys? And back. Yes. Sorry about that. The uh, net dropped out. Do apologize. It's going to be one of those nights, I think. I didn't break it. Wasn't Matt me. broke it. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. When you get decent internet, we'll be sweet. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Mm, we'll be sweet. So yeah, sorry about that. Mic issues, net dropping out. I oh, don't know what it is. It's that fan. It's cutting. You, you reckon? <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright. So uh, going to the next topic, guys, just quickly. And thank you for all your patience. Do I do apologize for um, all the issues for tonight. Um, Samsung. How's this? Releases a GDDR6 memory. Now can reach 16 gigabits and wins a CES award. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll arrive next year with them throughout the, around the 14 gigabits. But it turns with out throughput Sam- of around throughput, gigabits. sorry, 14 gigabits. But it turns out that Samsung has spent the last 15 months speeding up their next generation of D- DRAM, which now can reach the 16 gigabits. What do you think of that? Versus um, what's, what's HBM? 
HBM2 is uh, 1.9. 1.9 gigabits a second versus... Versus, actually, look on the table. Mm -hmm. What does it say in bold writing? NVIDIA vaults a GPU. Oh, there you go. So is that contradictory to what I just explained? Pretty much. Mm. Anyway. I don't think they heard you too, because I didn't cut out anyway. <laughs> Flimsy TV, Kyle, thanks for the follow. thank you very much. Kyle Dando, 17, thank you for the follow too. Um, Rewind, uh, yeah, but Kenka yeah. says. Yeah, so Centurion, uh, Centurion, thank you for the host. So, um, yeah, NVIDIA Volta GPU. Now, what, do you, what are your personal thoughts on this? What do you think is going to be happening with, with this? Well, they have to advance somewhere, so I think it's it, it's good. It's a good mm -hmm. step in the right direction. Is it? It is. I think it's a bit... Um, it's sort of like bringing PUBG out on Xbox when they haven't finished it properly on PC. They, mm -hmm. They've got the shortage of the DDR memory that we have now. Yeah. Um, hence why uh, video cards and, and RAM are so expensive at the mm -hmm. moment. But then they're talking about Flimsy advancing... TV, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. They're talking about advancing to GDDR6. Well, they've always said that. I've never like they. they you were we'll discussing this before. They said they wouldn't. They wouldn't go to HBM2. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, but I didn't think it would be this much of a jump. Like this is ridiculous. Like Samsung and Nvidia must have been. You know, HBM. Look, like, HBM2 will just be dead after this. Yes, think, yeah, exactly right. It would not succeed. Exactly right. It's exactly like the right. next AMD card, pretty much, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is unfortunate too, because... So, if they are correct, guys, if this does go ahead and we do see GDDR6, it means that um, I'm I'm going to take a stab now and guess that there'll be about a 40% difference in, in performance compared to the 10 series. That's a big jump. Yep. I reckon a 40 to 50% difference. 50% difference? Around there, somewhere around so there. So, what would you say that the 20 Ti, we'll call them, right? 20 Ti. Yeah. Would be comparable to a Titan XP. I reckon. My time I reckon you'll get. Well, look at look at look at how the 10 series panned out. So the 980 is equivalent to a 1060. Yes. Um, so in terms of Volta or Ampere or whatever you want to call mm. it. Ozzy, thank you for the host. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah. In terms of that, I guess we can expect the 1080 to be somewhere around the 2070 mark. Ooh. If they're going to call what? it call it 2070, 2060, 2070, I reckon somewhere in there. Now, since everyone, since we're actually <coughs> well, obviously putting this on the on the show, would you guys be holding your money and waiting for this video card to come out instead of buying a video card now? So right, we've got Pascal's out right now. We've got AMD with their video cards. Knowing this is going to be released within the next six months, I would say. Would you guys wait, or would you buy a card and do you know what and sell it after that? Thank like, you, Glenn Hallett, for the follow, mate. What do you like? What would you do, sir, in, in your in your opinion? If this is if you if, uh, you're, if you're looking for a new card, not that you need a card now, but if you were looking for a new card, would you go and buy a card for the next six months and I'm going to use it and sell it, or would you stick with what you got? Just say you had a 1060. Yeah, if I had a 1060, yeah, because in theory, if you had a uh, low to mid tier GPU yep. and the and the two series came out. It'd be a big jump. What about a 980 Ti? It'd be a big jump. If you had a 980 Ti, big jump. Yeah. But would you sell it now to buy a Pascal card or would you just keep it and say, you know what, I'll wait until, I'll wait until six it, months? It depends. It depends. If somebody just bought... Thanks for the follow. Assassin's Creed Origins and the 980 Ti is not keeping up with it. Yeah. If you want to do an upgrade, do it. But if you can, hold out. Because if they're saying it's going to be this good... Oh, speaking of Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, I have been playing on an Xbox One X and it is the most... At least all these computer guys doesn't have it anymore. Sexuals game <laughs> on Xbox One. I, I, I cannot believe the, the amount of detail that I could see with HDR as well. It is unbelievable. I, I haven't have, seen it yet. You have to show you me. You haven't seen it yet, but it's the details there. It's still console. Don't be wrong. It is still console. You can tell it's still console. But it's just like... A, it's like running on Ultra, really. But yep. it's not as good as PC. Like it's, it's Thanks, good. Chronic. Thanks for the host, like, I mean, mate. It is really good. I'm going to say it, it is really good as for a console for, for a console game. But seeing it on PC, it's still PC still there. See, here's what I don't like about consoles as well. The fact that if you go out and buy a... I'm, I'm not saying Sonic or a, or a terrible brand. If you go out and buy a Sonic TV, yeah. that's 4K HDR. Then you go and buy an LG or a Samsung or a Panasonic TV, that's 4K HDR. You can see the difference in the TVs yes, as well. Yes, you can. So, whereas you don't get that with the PC as much. Mm. Um, obviously, you got different hertz and host. stuff like that, but yep. yeah, you, you, you know what I mean. So, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, you, your TV is beautiful. So, I actually can't wait to see it. You've you've got all the fruit in your TV. It's it's amazing. So, we'll see. <laughs> I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make sure. You know, when I um, it was actually an impulse buy. 
Was it? We were at, um, what, two years ago? Well, two years ago, we were at Harvey Norman on Boxing Day, mind you, out of all days. Yeah, yeah. And they retailed for like, I don't know, like eight grand, I think it was. And for some special price, they had like four and a half thousand. And so it's just over half price. Just over half so price. That's pretty good. And yep, so you good. know what? I'm going to grab it. So it was the Series 9. Then the next week, the 2 Series came out and the TV dropped to. No, nah, it wasn't that. It was actually just, <laughs> this, this, I had it for a year. And then it did, it did play up. Um, the module, the module box that comes with it, because it's all in a little box that comes in it. Yep. It actually shit itself. Thanks, Slicky. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Um, it actually shit itself. So they actually was, was gave me a brand new TV, but it was the current Series. Oh, so you actually got an upgrade. I actually got an upgrade, yeah. Uh. So and that is why you can buy your Xbox. But if I, the my original TV that I bought didn't have HDR. The new one they gave me had HDR. So, so, I was just so you, lucky. You, you lucked out. I was lucked out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair Which enough. was great. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ozzy, have you boys seen the AK Gaming VR headset <coughs> on Kickstarter? Yes, I have. Very interesting. It's got two two massively high res screens on, yeah, each, on, so on yeah. each eye yeah yeah it, it looks amazing actually. uh do you know top jim i've got a 55 inch 55 inch samsung 4k hdr for 999 at new year's wow from JB. man that's really that looks, is an awesome deal that is an awesome deal especially samsung as well. than me, that's for sure so i end up especially. getting the um series 9 curve uh 9000 i think it was called um yeah i'll be honest i would not give it up for anything it's literally been the best tv i had so far it's probably the most expensive, the most expensive TV I've had so far. It's a, it's a nice TV, but yeah, I've got to admit TV. they're really good. Going back to the uh, just the, the Ampere slash Volta slash GDDR6 stuff as well. Yeah. How how are AMD people going to feel about this? How is the repercussion from AMD going to well, be about this? Is this is what I mean. Like this is ridiculous. Like it's literally. Is it going to be another? You, but do you blame, which we're going to discuss a bit later on, mm. the Intel AMD merger sort of thing? Because NVIDIA are going to control the market ag- once again with this new GPU coming out. Yeah. 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 You know, it's ridiculous. Well, it's not even, it's with CPUs as well, because AMD have been known in the past, they, they had almost a whole decade where they didn't release any new um, mm. CPU. Yeah. The FX series was the last series that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then they released Ryzen almost a decade later. Mm-hmm. So. Is it going to be another one of these things? I mean, do, do AMD have something in the bag that they're going to, you know, know. whip out and, and compete with NVIDIA for the next series? Or is NVIDIA just saying, we're so far ahead, it's not funny? I'm pretty sure this Intel AMD sort of collaboration that's going to be happening um, will further step the market of NVIDIA. I just think, I think AMD are looking at different avenues now. I think they're they're looking at being being more innovative in the in the mobile scene. That's what they that's what they're yeah, yeah yeah yeah. It's literally having like a Surface Pro or a UX you know Asus UX thin as like really thin laptop with pretty much like a, you know a, a fifty six or sixty four running in it. Yep. That's pretty much what they're Do you for. think that AMD uh, have basically thrown in the towel with um, with high end GPUs? Do you think that they've decided they've discovered that? They don't have the technology and and the architecture to make a powerful card like that, so they're stepping off into another direction. You know what? You're probably, you're probably right there in that in the sort of aspect, but they have been trying for the last couple of years. And um, we haven't seen much of the Ryzen laptops come out yet, mm. which is going to mm. be another next step as maybe well. Maybe that so, maybe they'll overtake Intel and uh, Nvidia with that sort of stuff as well. I don't think they both would. CPU and GPU side. I don't think they will. even they're bringing Ryzen laptops. They're still going to have the determination where. The thing about AMD, regardless of what they try and do, mm-hmm. everyone in the back of their minds, and we're talking about the old people actually had the AMD CPUs back in the days, um, or APs back in the days, um, where they were just an oven. It was always hot. Hot CPU, no matter what you did. Now, putting a hot CPU into a laptop, regardless if it's not hot, you're going to have that thing in your head and you wouldn't buy it. Yep. And I'm pretty sure this is the reason why they've gone to Intel with this sort of collaboration with AMD GPUs and Intel CPUs to eliminate this from everyone else. And I'm pretty sure this is the reason why they've done it. Otherwise, there was, no, there was no, no point further into it. And I think four to five years time, if AMD don't do something now, like do this sort of thing with Intel, yep. AMD would not, either would not exist, or literally it would, it would be an Intel NVIDIA you know, Look, show. Look, if, 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 uh, if that is a possibility that, that they are stepping away from taking the lead in terms of high-end graphics and mm-hmm. they are moving to uh, this sort of avenue yeah. it's, in, in my head that's a perfectly that's, that's, the, that's the best thing you could, you could ever do yeah. because that's something that hasn't been 
pushed uh, or ventured into, mm-hmm. and they're looking at taking a different portion of the market. Exactly, exactly. So I commend AMD. They're, 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 I reckon they're going to excel there. Oh, I have to Completely. I really have 100%, 100%. 100%. Yeah. And and how's, how's everyone going to chat? I've, 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 been, I've actually been trying to keep an eye on the chat as well. It's been fantastic. There's been a few of you guys in there. I appreciate everyone. There's actually seen some new names as well. Yeah, thanks, guys. Almost 50 people yeah. in the chat today. We're going to try and get the numbers up tonight um, because we do have uh, quite a special night, and you'll see why in a bit. Yeah, so it's been good. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. What comments have we got on this? Uh, the AMD Intel merger could be the death of AMD, though. Why not add their GPUs to Threadripper or Ryzen? We don't know. We, we don't know. And to be honest, there's not much that's been said. There's not much that's been said. We've The, the, the whole hype this week has been what um, uh, Damarai said. Uh, so Raja has now left the AMD building, and mm-hmm. he has walked into... Uh, Intel, Intel, he's starting in December, yep. um, and he has absolutely no ties, so he can leave anywhere he wants, whenever he wants. There is no. I I still think there's going to be an issue in going to that. I <coughs> I find it very hard to believe that AMD didn't have have any some none like a, no NDAs on his contract that he couldn't go to the op- direct opposition. Yeah, but he, there, he mustn't have. There has to be no. There's got to be something there for sure. This or maybe be- they thought because how long was he within uh, AMD for? He was with them for ages. Uh, yeah? uh, I think it was ten years. Yeah, exactly. So maybe they thought that he was that loyal. They didn't need to worry about it. No, I personally think in, in that aspect that the only way that Intel will accept the sort of collaboration with AMD is that he goes to AMD. I guess to Intel. Intel. It would be interesting. It would be interesting. It's just this side of me that sits in the back of my head, thinking, I wonder how much Intel paying him, how much they've, how much they've paid him for the move. Can you can, can you guys imagine that? Wow, we, yeah. wow. No wonder why he's starting in December. He's probably, starting, he's probably asked for like an advance payment or something. He's probably going on holiday. <laughs> straight out there. Yeah. Straight out Appreciate there. Pretty sure for me and you earn, it'll be like 10 years oh, yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, and definitely. That's, and that's just for him just to start early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. Exactly right. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see how yeah. AMD reciprocate in terms of uh, GPUs in, in the next 12 months. Maybe they weren't expecting Intel. To, uh, so, sorry. Showa seems to think that um, they would have had their lawyers look over it if AMD didn't have put in their non-comp clause. It's not their fault. Yeah, I exactly. guarantee you AMD would have had it in there. And the only reason why AMD released him to Intel is for this collaboration with Intel and AMD hmm. Um, hmm. mobile hmm. section also. Well, the mobile sector Just to quickly, get involved. Uh, Foxy Devil, thank you for the follow. And uh, President KK, thanks for the follow too, mate. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. It's so very, very interesting. My synergy's not working, so I'm using two masses. So, GDDR5, which is what we currently have now that's in the 10 series cards. Guys, just to give you some, some sort of comparison or benchmark, and this is why I'm saying 40 to 50% higher, it can reach 9 gig a second now. Mm-hmm. Um, in the newer version of the GTX 1060, that, that's that's what it reaches on yeah. average. Um with the 8 gig refined GDDR5X, the 1080 has a throughput of 10 gigabit, uh, 10 gig a second, sorry. So, the GDDR5X does perform quicker, obviously, that's why it's in the higher end cards. The 1080 Ti flagship boasts at 11 gig of GDDR5X and 11 gigs, uh, gigs per second. So, we're expecting uh, GDDR6 to... And that's not even X. That's not it's even not. X. This is 6. So, they're, they're expecting it to be 16 gigabits a second and X to be 18 gigabits a second, I think they said. So not only is GDDR6 faster than today's graphics memory, but it also consumes less power as well. So uh, while the current version uses 1.5 volts for 8 gig a second GDDR5, its successor operates at just 1.35 volts. Oh, that what? is absolutely amazing. How much? Absolutely amazing. So versus the uh, the 8 volts now that we have, yeah. that the 10 series consume, uh, GDDR6 is supposed to consume 1.35 volts. Wow. So a lot more efficient at a, loss le- a lot less power usage. So we'll see how that goes as well. Yeah. There you go. So we should start seeing GDR6 uh, appearing next year, uh, including NVIDIA's highly anticip- anticipated Volta, Ampere, whatever. Uh, as noted by WCCF Tech, which is, I'm pretty sure what this site is, yeah. GDR6 will come in 8, 16, and 32 gig dies. Mm-hmm. So does that mean we'll start seeing 32 gig 2 series cards? Fuck, do we need it? But anyway. <laughs> no, we probably don't. <laughs> we probably don't. But hey, that's, that's technology, isn't it? Exactly. That's, right. that's advancement. Um, <coughs> we'll do one more, one more topic and then we'll jump into something else. So, Intel. 
Nearly every Intel CPU since Skylake has found vulnerable, uh, been vulnerable to USB-based attacks. Really? IME. Intel Management Engine. What sort of attacks are we looking at? Not as smart as they thought they were not protecting it. Yeah? Is this that, was that from that um, the issue we had about three months ago or four months ago? No, no this is a new issue. Yeah, new issues. Oh, new so, issue as well. Skylake-based processors onward. Mm -hmm. um, they run a technology called IME, mm -hmm, Intel absolutely. Management Engine. Yep. Uh, and basically what it's doing is it's it's they they when they were structuring that and putting that component together in the CPU they didn't allow for uh, any compromise or vulnerability mm. um, somebody has now found that vulnerability and is able to and exporting it even wake on LAN PCs so turn them on even oh, if really? they are off so I was going a bit of the notes here so Intel Management Engine System since 2008 nearly every CPU release by the company comes with an IME which has some which some call a computer within your computer. It has some pretty eye-opening capabilities in your computer at architecture diagram. It would sit above the CPU, but below the operating system. Yep. Its purpose to control the CPU, other, other hardware perform remote administration tasks. So that's what IME pretty that's, much does in a, in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. Performs tasks, talks to the CPU, yep. operates with the rest of the system. Yep. So pretty, pretty much the most crucial bit. I can tell that this is honest. not my chair because it's was, <laughs> it wasn't sitting properly. Was I actually don't like your swap. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so IMU always had the black box as a huge security threat considering it's control your system even when your computer is turned off. Intel knew this but did not think it would ever be an issue. Isn't that a bad thing to happen, isn't it? Hackers can execute... You're going to stop doing that. Hackers can execute <laughs> unsigned code on nearly on any computer up any computer running as IME through USB. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Sorry guys, I'm smacking around with these reading. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading something and because we're on a Google Drive, this knobhead <laughs> is covering it and I can't read what he's saying when I actually what I'm actually reading. So Wouldn't be talking text that fun. <laughs> yeah. Do it on your own effing time. Ah. Uh, uh, why did we switch chairs? It was just for fun, to be honest. It was a last minute thing. I said, you, you can take the white chair tonight. You know what? We, we spoke about this last night and Lee said, I wonder if anybody would notice it. Yeah. And literally within the first five seconds, Dean, you Literally. Noticed. Within the first five <laughs> seconds, everyone knew there was a different mic, different different chairs we were sitting on, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> um, they haven't... Matt, no, they haven't the knob. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Damo. Thanks, mate. I've actually got Damo's... Uh, computer in my car at the moment ready for posts oh really yeah he's not going to get it for another week <laughs> <laughs> Lee loves the green and your hair <laughs> um what's get oh my hair yeah what scares it's me growing. my hair's growing at the it, moment. Is, it is actually it's yeah so how you doing um yeah my wife's asked me to grow my hair so I was told that I was going to grow it one more time how I used to have it should we should we, it. should we uh, I'm going to sign a petition mm -hmm. to get he, uh, Lee's wife to agree to, to let you grow dreadies out dreadlocks oh yeah right. what do you think yeah no I own a business but I can't do that I'm pretty sure everyone will accept <laughs> yeah uh, guys there is no way to disable IME so everyone is is open to attack until uh, a fir uh, firmware update bias, a firmware update, update, bias, bias update, update releases I had a mental blank then I've got a few let's online. hope let's hope that all the major vendors have Rectify this issue and Intel have worked well, with Well, do you know what? Let's, I hope so, because it's getting ridiculous now. A lot of shit's happening. Um, so, gaming, just quickly. Star Wars Battlefront 2 got released today. I did. Um, a lot of you was playing it. I'm at work watching a few of my, um, obviously, streamers that I sponsor playing today, and it looked fantastic. I really can't wait to get my hands on that game. Um, we do have, an, obviously, a bit of a two minutes um, gameplay of it, so I'll, I'll get that guys for you soon. Um, it was good. It was actually really good. Now, a, one of the announcements that I have for tonight, which, we'll, which I'll do now, the NVIDIA competition, which one of them is going to be ending in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yep. Last week's competition ended, and obviously I emailed the winner. No response. Two weeks in a row. So, you guys enter in, and obviously, want to win, comp win, want to win the competitions, do win the competitions, and then don't win. But why? What? Why, why do people I waste have, their time? I have no idea. Liking stuff to get points, to get entries, yeah. and don't, don't. So guess don't. what? One of you guys are going to win tonight. Two Nvidia packages going out tonight, guys. Yep. Two. Two. Not so, one, but two. 
We will uh, be doing the NVIDIA giveaway soon. <coughs> um, what I will do is I will open up the giveaway and I'll make it for a long time. I'll so that's for two T-shirts, one each of Esley, two limited edition USB sticks, one each of Esley, <coughs> and two SLI bridges heading one of your, well, two of your way. That's exactly right. Uh, by the end of the night tonight. All right, so I'll be open that. So be open to PC419 and it's... So this is for the first one. This is the, <clears throat> what, this is the unclaimed one. This is the unclaimed. PC four and nine video guys. Let's see the hashtag. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, this one's a while, so you guys can relax, calm down. Don't need to, you know, flood the stream. How long, how long is it going for? Oh, good twenty five minutes. Twenty five <laughs> so, minutes. So there you go, yeah. guys. You got twenty five minutes to hashtag PC four and nine Nvidia. This is thanks to Nvidia GeForce ANZ, by the way, guys. If you haven't liked their Facebook page, please do. Mm. It is an awesome community, awesome it is. group. Uh, it's actually one of and the requirements on the competition. It is, yeah, it it's is, growing. Yeah. It's, it's growing rapidly. So what, I, what I'm also going to do too, um, from our Gleam competitions, I'm going to let you guys know, you know, same, coming from me, from PC419. Now, the entries to the, to the Gleam competitions does allow you to entry to enter one. It's selecting one of the entries. And as a disclaimer from now on, and it won't be for, won't be for tonight's um, competitions, it will be for the next competition we're going to be releasing. Um, you must select every single line as a, to have, what's the, I'm trying to think of the word, to be a, I don't know what you're saying. Like to well, have, I do know, but I don't know how to word it. Either. Yeah. Yeah. So for your, for your entry to be valid, uh, valid, that's, that's exactly what I was looking for hey. to be valid. Um, all of the entry points must be, must be selected. Is there a way that you can make that happen? No. Well, it's mandatory to select one. But um, I particularly have one all of the um, entries be mandatory. So if you do win and you miss out on one, unfortunately, as a disclaimer, which we're putting into our new streams, that our next our next claims that you must select every single part of that Glen competition. <coughs> so it's just a little something from our end, guys. Obviously, <coughs> we've got all these goodies to give away, but yeah. but we need to have you guys involved with as much stuff as we do as well. Exactly. So. Exactly. What if you don't have Twitter? You make a Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, right. that, that's actually a good question. What happens if the person doesn't have, doesn't have Twitter? When do you will create one? <laughs> <laughs> Athena, create a Twitter account. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we'll make sure that you create one. I think Lee's, Lee's pretty keen on this, aren't Yeah, you? I'll look. Um, Twitter for us, for, for PC41, is going to be a bit of a major factor for 2018. Um, so I would love for you to start following me on Twitter as well because we are going to be getting heavily involved in that. Um, so if you can, I would appreciate it. But as part of the Gleam competitions, if it's, if it's on there, if it's going to be on there, it is a requirement. So I do apologize and, and if, you know, coming up. I'm surprised nobody said you're not my dad. You can't make me, well, do, you can't make me is, do it. You're not my dad. There is one person that says that. <laughs> anyway. I'm surprised. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, guys. I might leave Twitter out of it, to be honest. We'll see. Just no Instagram. No, no Instagram. What about adding you on Snappy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is, is it a requirement? No, no, no. Add Lee, add Lee on Snappy. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, that's funny. So, in video giveaway, that will be given away in the next 25 minutes. We're then at 9 o'clock. The, this week's giveaway for NVIDIA will be closing off. So, two NVIDIA giveaways tonight. It's going to be fantastic, isn't not it? Not Uno, but Duo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so bar from that, um, what we did have particularly... MySpace. <laughs> yeah, MySpace. <laughs> um, now, the announcement that we are going to be telling you for tonight's... It's, it's a bit hang hard, on, hang on, hang obvious. on, hang on, hang on. But before we talk about it, how many people know that there's an announcement? Did you guys see the, the post the other day and the post today? Can you say yes? In the chat. Just the people who saw it, say yes. I want to see actually how many people... Saw the announcement on so, Facebook? Saw the announcement on Facebook. That's about seven of the 51 that are in here at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Cupid says Jessica. <laughs> Have you got a, uh, a um, Plenty of Fish account? Link, <laughs> link, link that in there too. <laughs> okay. All right, so as you can see from there, demo, you can only enter it once, mate. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie puts you in once. So, and you can't enter the any accounts that you credit. So the account. announcement. I'm actually sad about this, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So PC419 has been going for about a year now. Um, now, a few things have happened in the last probably two days. 
But PC419 is actually going to be closing down at December 26. It will be no longer existing. Um, I've taken this step because it's required and I need it, to be honest. Uh, I've been talking to Matt about it for the last maybe two days. And unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to shut down PC419 because I just no longer sustain it, to be honest. It's one of those things. It takes a lot of, a lot of our time. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, so, yeah, so I'm uh, just letting you know, guys, that PC419 will no longer be existing up to December 26. Um, it's just one of those things I really can't do much. I really do appreciate you guys putting it for last year for coming to the chat. No, I'm joking. No, I'm very serious. No, I was, I was ready for it. <laughs> I know, I was like, <laughs> PC419 is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, so PC419 will not end on December 26. It will continue on. Suckers! And be stronger than ever. Come on, guys. We can't because <laughs> we have got so much shit planned. you got no idea. Yeah, so, so d- <laughs> at 2018 for PC419 is going to be massive. So do stay, um, do stay tuned. Oh, Josh A said our our original plan. We're gonna say you were pregnant. Yeah, I was pregnant. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, how many of you guys actually believe that? <laughs> I think Vincent Vincent would have gone gone to the uh, toilet, Vincent, grabbed some toilet paper, Vincent and just was sat crying. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vincent hates us. <laughs> No, I would never do that. No, I would never do that. Seriously. Now, if I was going to end PC 419, I'd probably do it on a better note. But yeah, no, it's, look, it's it's continuing on. But the big announcement um, will definitely You're be not gonna within, <laughs> the next, within the next maybe five or ten minutes. You should find out. So, uh, I get the feeling the part about you losing money is true. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, it is. Like, look, the think, amount of PC, money that PC 419, in. yeah, has really drained me to be honest but look it is for you guys i really do appreciate that's it serious. and that's on a serious note too so it's not a cheap venture to you know just get into streaming or into reviews as an influencer for all you know to be an australian influencer i'm trying to be get one you know be one of the biggest influencers in australia there's a few guys out there currently at the moment which are doing a great job i want to be part of that group hopefully and um yeah go from there so it's good pc four known is strong damn straight we are we are mm-hmm. we definitely are damn definitely straight are. damn straight it's because right. of our little family, guys. Exactly. Our little family. If it wasn't for you guys, um, obviously, PC4 and I wouldn't even be here, really. No, that's you know? right. That's right. That's right. We started up talking tech with the idea that that we were going to have a couple of people. It was literally... Talking but, Talking tech was pretty much going to be oh, maybe five or ten people a night. Like, every time we jump on, it's just us bantering about you know shit during the week and tech. And, and now it's turning out to be, you know, of roughly yeah, an average between 40, between 40 and 70 viewers every time we come on, which is fantastic, which I do love as well. So Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And this is the most exciting part of the week, to be honest. I don't know about you guys, but for me it is. I love how every week at the start of the episode we stuff up. Mm. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm pretty sure they do too. Oh, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't remind me. Just, don't even remind me. Um, so, yeah. So, going back to what I was saying now, Star Wars Battlefront 2 got released today. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting a two minutes um, sort of intro for you guys to have a look at. If you haven't watched it or you haven't seen it, do watch this because it's actually going to be a fantastic if you, if, Even if you're not um, Star Wars, not, not a Star Wars fan, this will convert you. So it sit will. down, grab a beer, grab a drink, grab a water, whatever the hell you guys drink, put your feet up, relax, and check out this. I've waited 30 years for this. I still remember my last orders. The day the real war began. The rebellion cannot be allowed to persist. Expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. Impossible. Commander, what do we do now? We avenge our Emperor. Thank 
is the way. Hope cannot save them! Yes. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah. so um, who's gonna be buy- who here is gonna be buying the Star Wars Battlefront Two game? I've got it. I'll be playing it. No, soon pre- as, no pressure. As soon as we um, as soon as we finish talking tech, and you know Matt decides to go home, I will be playing <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront Two. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. Um, now, as you can see from here, we have the Antec P8 case. It has got a tempered glass side. It's been a fantastic case from Antec. Antec. I've actually got a special thing for Antec as well. Um, they have been supporting PC419 before PC419 even started. So I, I approached Antec, or PC419 approached Antec, and they were one of the first ones to support us without even, without PC419 even being on the map, really. And They have been a great. They have been, been a great sponsor of ours since the start. Um, so I'll support Antec as much as I can with them, and obviously any product that comes out, which I have another case for another review, which is the P11, um, which is down there. Uh, will be coming for review, but the P8 will be our next case for review for them, and I really cannot wait to put a system build into this. What is now, it? What does it feature? What's, what's but, it, how does it? How does? What does it do, Basil? Hmm. Well, it's a good case. Every, every, every case proves the a same. Chassis. <laughs> it's a chassis. 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 <laughs> um, what do you think, guys, of the Antic P8? Would, would it be would it be a case for you? Like you have to wait for my review to come out. I'll be going into more detail on the case when my review comes out, but. During that review, I'm actually going to be putting a system into it. So I'm going to put a literally. I'm going to change to the Brio so that helps. Of yep. course, it doesn't. One second. Give me one second, guys. So as you can see, guys, it is. It's, it's a. It's a mid tower. I'll just give you a quick rundown of it. I won't spoil it too much, so you guys can watch the review. From what I can see, uh, it's got two 120, 140 mil, or three 120 mil, two 140 mil uh, intake at the front, uh, one 120 at the back. Um, standard PSU, tempered glass side, which is really, yep. really nice. Yes, it is. Um, and it's it's about three mil thick for those wondering as mm-hmm. well. I know thermal take off to do five now, mil, but the PA does come with two. Um, um, oh my God, memory's gone. Thing. Tempered glass sides. You can purchase the the back end as well to be tempered glass. So you can do both. So you can both, do both. both yeah. Sides. I yep. think it's the twenty five dollar option to buy that, um, which I do have here by the way as well. So um, during the review, that will go on there. But can, I take, can I take it off the table now? Or? Um, yeah, you can actually. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So going into the case, into the P8, I've got a few products that need to go in there. Now I want you guys to tell me, is this are these products well worth what's going to go in here? So I've got the Antec 750 watt edge power supply, edge power supply, which has as features a nice white LED. Yes, it does. Um, we've got 16 gig of Avexa Blitz RAM running at 3200 megahertz. You can't get these anymore, can you? No, you cannot. You cannot get these anymore. So that'd be pretty cool. Yep. So well, what color are they? Uh, they're white, yeah. White, yes. White, yeah. So they're a red, an awesome red looking yep. finish. With now this is for the review, guys. What do you think? So Mercury 240 from Antic as well, which is going to be another review product coming out soon. Um, we also have the GeForce 1070 from Galax. That's the side here. Is that the that's the EX? That's the EX version. EX yeah. version. So yep. 1070 EX, which is the black uh, with red lighting. Yep. Uh, not RGB, but it's still a 1070. Yep. Um, yes, it is fully modular Twitch. Now I'm going to do a quick one. Just to, just a quick poll. Just quickly, what do you guys think is the board and the process that's going into this? Yeah, let us know. 
Just quickly, I want to see what you guys think. So, bear in mind, obviously we've got the 1070, the Mercury 240, and the Antec 750 Edge. Push to the side. And we have the Avexa. Oh, so close. So close. Very close, guys. Guys, a 8600K, 8th Gen i5. Yep. Where are we going in? Yeah, bring that one. Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming. Mm. Which, by the way, is an amazing motherboard. Yes, it is. And a Vexa S100 series SSD. These light up as well. They are cool. Yeah, they light up they as are well. Cool. Yeah. How, how solid and sturdy They are, feel? they are. Very solid. It feels sturdy. amazing. So, tell us in the chat, guys, what do you think of this build for, um, obviously, for a review product? What do you think is actually capable of it doing? So, if you had to build this yourself, um, 1080p, 1440p, what do you think? What's your, what, are you, what are your personal thoughts on this? A, a 1440p killer. Yeah? Definitely? Yeah, definitely. 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 There you go. Judging by the games that came out today, mm -hmm. absolute powerhouse. Yeah. To be honest, it'd be a nice machine, I'm sure, for anyone to own. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. 4040p, Genotype Jim says. What else is there? What do you think, guys? As long as the PC can run Minecraft, the max settings, I'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Yeah, no, I can't have that. Oop, there goes SSD. I knew that was going to fall. <laughs> I called it. I called it. You did call it. I called it. Um, what do you, where, where do you guys think that this this build fits into into the scheme of things in in terms of 40, 40p gaming? I reckon it'd be pretty mm. sick. Be pretty sick. And I haven't actually tested one of these yet, but I did get my i3 mm -hmm. to five gigahertz, so I'd like to see where this one goes. As long as I call one, all good. It's an aura. Call one's killer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Actually, we should work that out. Total cost. Total cost? You wouldn't think a total cost would be. Video parts picker. What do you guys think this would be worth if you had to if you had to go and buy this? Looking at looking at all here, remember we've got a sixteen gig of a Vexar, Mercury two forty. But see that's gonna P8. be hard. you can't get the SSD or the RAM anymore. Just, so you're you're something comparable to it. So you, you can even use I say dot matters of G skill that will still work. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say two and a half thousand. Build this gonna say twenty eight. Yep, so, somewhere in there. So it's twenty seven hundred? Twenty seven hundred? Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Don't worry, PC for one wise kills, I think wise. I don't think this suits red LED GPU on a blue colour kind of damn but the forty forty P romp easy. There you go. Sick flow, eighteen hundred dollars. Must be um senior card. Mm, mm. <laughs> Pensioners discount. Pensioners discount. Must be, must be. Outback three thousand. It's actually pretty close to that. Uh, Vincent two K plus. Yeah, Aussie Domination two K plus. Two yeah, it is. We'll, it's we'll, we will leave I'll it be at honest. 2K it's, I reckon it's about two and a half K, but anyway, we'll go. We'll leave it there. Uh, mind two, you, 2K plus. mind you. Obviously, we've got the P eight K so that everything's going to go into there. Now, guess what the announcement is, guys? This is actually a PC four one nine PC giveaway. These are the parts that are going to be that in you the can giveaway. potentially have. Now, that is a big announcement. The reason why I was saying a big announcement, so this is going to be in an Antec P8 case with a Z370 Aorus Gaming Ultra board. You've got the Mercury 240, 16 gigs of a VEXA 3200MHz RAM, a VEXA SSD, 8600K, a GTX 1070. Powered up with an Antec 750 watt edge power supply. How good is that? Each and every single sponsor, we thank them so much. Uh, sponsor, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Vendor, thank you very much for, for all those sponsors, yeah. coming along. Sponsors, whatever yeah. they are, because um, I know you're in talks with them for, for, for quite was a in while. Talks for quite a long time. Um, to but get they this. Are, they all basically jumped at the idea. It was it was yes, it's it was. been really really good. So so my um obviously close connections with uh, my sponsors. And every time I mention this, and I hope you guys do believe it from now, when I say that PC419 is here for the community, this is the reason why we're here for the community. Um, regardless of the situation, we try and push, and I guarantee you now that there is probably a few other competitions running in the world at this stage, and I don't think there will be anything close to this at this time. Having a brand new CPU, mind you, that CPU is a PC419 sponsored CPU, so that comes directly from and me. And might I add, might I add, you can't get this CPU. No. You can't actually purchase it without a board. Hmm. Exactly. So an 8600K Z Z370 running a GTX 1070. 
Who else can do it? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We're giving you guys, uh, all of you, the the best chance to win this. Obviously, equal chance as well. Mm -hmm. How will we be doing it? It'll, it will be running for a month. So when I said December 26th, that date was actually for a mention. So it will be ending on December 26th and it'll be running for a Gleam competition. So it'll be just right after Christmas when you guys are all happy and snug. You've got all your like cool Christmas presents. Yep. We can add to it. We can help you out. Hopefully, um, you know, Boxing Day for you guys isn't going to be one of a big one. And obviously, Boxing Day for PC419 is going to be here. Um, I will definitely try. If it's not going to be 26, it will be on the 27th. It'll be the day after Boxing Day. Can I just say, if the winner does not claim this, I will go to their address and kick them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, seriously. 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 What so, a killer build, guys. It is. What a killer build. Um, so, like we said, this is going to be a massive thing for PC419. Now, do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well because on this video, I'll be doing the P8 case, which is almost actually the P8 review is actually done. Now, I'll be doing another review with the system build going into the P8s and doing some benchmarking. So, you're, you're, you're going to well. have a, gonna have a famous, one gonna, person's going to have a famous build. Exactly. Because it is going to be featured in one of PC419's reviews. Exactly right. I'm sort of considering do I sign, the, do I sign inside or not, but I don't think I will, to be honest. Spill something on it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if the winner wants me to sign inside, God forbid, I'll, you know, I probably will, but if they don't want to, I'm, I really don't care. So, Guys, this is your chance. If you want in, an, in on a piece of this action, the Glam Comp will be up soon. Exactly. So It'll the, be going for a month, ending on the 26th of December. Yeah. So it'll be ending on 26th of December, but it may be aired on the 27th, so we'll soon see. Um, so I've just realized that Boxing Day is on the 26th. It is. So um, depending on if my availability is, and if, if, actually if Matt's available that day as well, if he's here, um, we may do it. If not, we'll be doing it on the 27th, which will be on the Wednesday. Yep. So talking to might just be on the Wednesday. Yep. Yep. So what do you think, guys? Do you think that, obviously, that every time that we do mention, you guys say that we are here for the community? Is this, you reckon this is more than, um, more than enough? The, the, does this, ha this at all remotely have to do with with talking tech like the ability of of us <clears throat> actually doing this being able to do this because from episode number one we had no intention of doing this no, but I didn't. now with all these people watching mm -hmm. and all of the vendors seeing you know exactly what we do for you guys and what happens yeah this is how it all came to be yeah so bar from being talking tech obviously pc419 um does have a lot of clout and a That's lot, right. a lot of pushing right. to it um <clears throat> these products are for reviews for, for what i do for reviews anyway so as an influencer, I do speak to my, speak to my sponsors and say, look, I want to do this for the, for the viewers. And also, too, thank you guys for 5,000. 5,000 That's another reason followers. why we've done it. So one of, the, one, one of the reasons why I said to myself, well, you know what? It's 5,000 followers. We reached over 4,000 YouTube subscribers. Now, I think it's something that we should give back to, to the viewers and to the subscribers and say thank you very much for a year. So it's been, a, it's been our first year. And look what it's been. One year, 12 months later, system PC giveaway. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And it's true. The grind is... Look, it's, it's been a grind for me, to be honest. For the last year, yeah, I don't, yeah. like, I've don't. had barely any sleep, trying to get PC4 on off the ground, um, doing so much that I can do, you know, and obviously giving you guys as best show as possible, and yeah, and we're going to be here, so which is good. One lucky winner. <clears throat> a very lucky winner. Yeah. A very, very lucky winner. I hope uh, there's some people in here that need a new machine. That's for sure. Jessica, can you give away five PCs? If I could, I would. Uh, <laughs> I'm super proud of you guys. Take care for your, um, take care of your people. Thank you, Charlie. Much appreciated. Uh, Twitch, always, mate. Always. Do it on always. And take a day off. Spend it with your family. Thank you very much, Twitch. Like I said, we may be doing it on the 27th. I will uh, confirm yeah. it on the Glen Comp. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, this is great. Hope you guys get a ton of entries. The show is sponsored. But it's <laughs> worth it. Thank you, Gino Top Jim. <laughs> G Vincent <clears throat> is is G Vincent banned from this giveaway? We won't say yes or no. We'll let the crowd decide. <laughs> we'll do it later on. We'll actually do like a. We'll do it, actually do what? Make it a straw poll. <laughs> Make it. A, should go, should we'll do Vincent We'll do a banned? straw poll. So we'll straw poll, which will be is Vincent banned from the PC four one nine giveaway? <laughs> Bar from him winning a four thousand dollar PC and also winning a trip to Poland. Poland to Poland. Mm -hmm. A trip to Poland. <laughs> Can Vincent win another PC? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no. Toe Cutter, thanks for the follow, mate, and thank you for the YouTube sub as well. Much appreciated. Thanks, mate. Well, I, so, hope, you, I hope all of you are excited as I am, because I am. We, we were talking about this last night. We were talking about which way to approach this, because yeah. the computer's not built yet. As you can see, all the parts are still yeah. are still here, um, and I actually suggested to Lee, should we assemble it? Mm. 
And he said, no, let's... let's Pingu, thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you, Pingu. He said, let's do a different take on it and let's let's this put the trailer on and watch is, all the, and this put is all the, the bits out. This funding for the shipment. <laughs> 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 we'll see, mate. <clears throat> um, so I continue on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. So, yeah, so I was just saying, like, mm-hmm. yeah. So we, we, we opted to put each and every single part out of the table for you guys so you can see what's yeah. exactly going on. So the video was like, yes... Star Wars did get released today, but we're trying to figure out a way how to put the products on there without 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 just, without showing just, it, just showing it, throwing yeah, it on. So yeah, yeah. that was a bit of a bit of a trickery <laughs> trickery for today. What if someone wants to build it? That's fine. You can pay for separate shipping on each each item. We'll just box them separately, pull it apart <laughs> again, and send it to you. No, the the PC will come built. The PC will the become PC will come built. Yeah, you can do whatever you wish with it when you get it once but, it arrives. But yeah, for now we'll be building it. Yeah, we'll be building it. <laughs> All right, so that is the big announcement. Bar from the NVIDIA giveaway that no one that wasn't claimed last it wasn't week. Wasn't claimed, yeah. Um, obviously, the PC giveaway from PC four one nine, and then also the other NVIDIA giveaway for this week. And that's it. No more NVIDIA giveaways. We're finished for for all that. No more USBs. No more USBs. No more USBs. Congratulations um, to those who won them. So yeah, um, entry will be through Gleam. So once we actually end, we will, what we'll do is we will um, put up a Gleam competition, which might be tonight. Um, do stay tuned on our Facebook page, our Facebook group, and the PC Four One Nine Gaming. It will be blasted on there, as also the PC Four One sponsored streamers, and on the PC Four One Nine sponsored um, PUBG Australia as well. It'll be on there as well. This RAM is so nice. The RAM is nice. It's beautiful. I'm jelly. And don't forget, guys, we still have the um, NVIDIA comp going, which is still going here. We have a lot of entries still coming through. So let us know on your thoughts. What do you, um, what do you thought of the 1070 from Galax? Like, they've, it's actually been a really good card. Like, we've done some good comparisons against that card. The review will be coming out probably next three, four days. Um, it was really good. I mm. really can't... I, mm. it's, Obviously, bar from speeds, power, um, look. What I was impressed about was um, when we ran heaven on it mm-hmm. and superposition and stuff. It was quiet. Yes, it was quiet. Like like the whole thing. It was it was a whisper quiet. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Actually, the fan design mm. is really really nice. It is. It is. Really Galaxy really nice. have actually done a really good job with their cards. Like we've been pushing Galaxy for the last well, for, since UA five, so it would be yep. in May. Yeah. Um, and Galaxy have been a fantastic sponsor as well for us. They you know they supported us for Upgrade Australia, gave us. Um, obviously 1080s, 1070 Hoff, the EXOC, yep. um, which has been great. So yep. Yep. those reviews will be coming out. Hopefully the 1080 might be, might be released tomorrow. Yep. And then the 1070 will be released hopefully maybe by Friday. I'll yep. have that out. So yep. it'll be good. Yep. Um, How also, exciting. And it's exciting because uh, we just showed that off on the show, obviously. You guys are the first to know about it. So yeah. you guys will get a head start on the entries before anyone else does. Everyone gets a head start from here first. So regarding to that, regardless of what is from PC419, it will not be advertised outside the stream until, until you, got, you guys yeah, will know yeah. first before anyone yeah. else does. So how, how, and also our Discord channel. How most of the giveaways are going to go that we have, uh, sorry, major giveaways that we have are going to go, is <clears> you guys will know first. Uh, so anyone who tunes into Talking Tech will know first. And from then on, uh, so the first people to be able to enter the comp will be on Discord. So if you haven't joined our Discord, yeah. uh, please join. You'll mm-hmm. see the link pop up throughout the night. Yep. Um, so join our Discord because the pinned posts there always change with the latest comps that we have running. Exactly so right. you guys will be able to enter it first if you're on our Discord. So 9 out of 10, it's actually 24 hours before the comp starts. Mm-hmm. Well, we've been being properly advertised. Yep. So, yeah. But I would also like to thank all of our sponsors for, Amazing sponsors. for, this, um, for this major giveaway. Also, too, which we do have one left. Now, I was going to say, you couldn't get a PC without a keyboard and mouse. No. No, obviously not. So, Cool Master have given us a Master Set MS-121 to give away with the PC. So, when you receive your PC, bar from booting it up, you'll be having a new keyboard, new mouse from Cool Master See, to give away. you just don't sit there and... Say, what am I going to do with this PC? Yeah, well, it's beautiful. Now, do I have to go and buy a keyboard or mouse if I don't have one? Example like Damon, like he's, got a, he's, running a, you know, he's running a laptop, you might not have a keyboard or mouse. That's right. That's now, right. You, when you receive your PC, you'll receive a, a Master Set MS121 with the PC. As well. As well. So we'll check that in as well, guys. That will come with the PC. Exactly right. So thank you, Cooler Master, and thank you, Avexa. Thank you, Antec. Thank you, Gigabytes. 
Um, thank you, PC419, for the CPU. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Galax. That was by us. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Galax, um, obviously, for the GDX 1070 giveaways, which is much appreciated. For, we- for awesome for the sponsors, that wouldn't be a giveaway. You know, we'll probably PC419 couldn't, you know, push as much that out. Um, but we do try. Hope you enjoy it. Do stay tuned to that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because as soon as every little video comes out about this particular build, um, obviously it's going to give you more insight on what you can, what you may win, which would be great. Um, probably doing some bench tests on it as well, so probably you can see how, how the 1070 is actually running within the system, bar from seeing the separate review. And we'll go from there, so enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you win it, Damarai. Damarai just bought a new machine. So, yeah. so if he enters it... <laughs> <laughs> Twitch Pinger, you're missing a mousepad, monitor, headset, and webcam. Yes, we are. You can purchase them at ple.com. <laughs> using the, discount using code. the PC419 VIP discount. <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh, but then he can't because they don't ship to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in Australia that would like to purchase a headset keyboard, a headset, webcam, a headset, map, webcam, webcam mouse pad, uh, more like it to buy from ple.com.au <laughs> using the PC419 VIP code. So, bar from that, we do have one more competition to give away tonight, which is the PLE fifty dollar voucher. So, we're really running. We've got the other Nvidia comp. And well, then, both the Nvidia comps. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Say. We have a few can go right now. So, what we'll do is. Did you want we, to go and grab? Just go and grab it all quickly. What's up? The Nvidia package. Oh, so we can show them. Oh yeah. So, I've never actually. Is, it, is this mechanical? It's a uh, membrane. With a mechanical Can you hear that, guys? They're very, very loud. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it. Now, guys, I will assemble the machine as well, so you don't have to worry about Lee breaking anything. That, um, yeah, rest assured, you can have the quality of service and guarantee from me building it. <laughs> and we all know that's not true. <laughs> so. <clears throat> All right, so you've got the NVIDIA T-shirts, you have the three-way SLI bridge, and the own one and only da, 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 da. NVIDIA USB stick. Except it's tilted in a way that nobody can see it. Oh. There you go. There you go. These things are rare, man. Ah, they are. You, yeah. You know, you, you got to respect it. They are. They are. If I could bring in a Logitech Pro, but for some reason it is not working. I don't know why, but it's not working. They're heavy. The USBs are heavy. They're, they're all metal, yeah. Yeah, they are heavy. Yeah, they're they're all metal. They are as heavy as anything. So this is GDDR6, mm. 16 gigabits a second. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to do the giveaway for last week's competition. We are going to do a video of building it. Are we going to do a video of building the machine? Oh yes, we are. Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do Definitely. a video of assembly. So you've got footage. You've got everything, really. So the winner has footage of their machine getting built. They yeah. have review footage. on the parts that go into the machine. Yep. They have a video of um, Lee kissing the computer and making out with it. Pretty much, yeah. And then yep. Matt dropping the video card. <laughs> and then it comes out to you. All, all in that process. All right, so we are closing off the <coughs> NVIDIA giveaway. I'm giving you 10 seconds to join in. Whoever hasn't joined in, it is hashtag PC419 NVIDIA. One more turn. One more try. All right. And we are closing it off in five, four, three, two, two one. one. Close off. And here we go, guys. Picking winner for the last week's comp, which is... Who's the winner? Odd Hero. Congratulations. Where art thou, Odd Hero? Is he here? Better, bloody better be. Oh, he's here. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm looking at the thing. Dun, 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 dun. Show yourself. From reveal. Reveal. Yeah, he's here in chat. I can see him. Take that invisibility cloak off. <sighs> Congrats, Odd Hero. It's probably gone. <laughs> What's happening? For a week. For a week. Wait, where are you going? What are you doing? Congratulations, Odd Hero. You have won yourself the very limited edition second last one NVIDIA pack, which contains the 64 gig completely metal GTX 1080 replica USB stick. Yep. Two way SLI bridge, two, three way SLI bridge, sorry. Redraw, redraw. <laughs> and a limited edition. Odd Hero's here. Here we go. 
No, congratulations, mate. Do PM me on Facebook, please. So um, send me your, your details and we'll get the NVIDIA package sent out to you. Congratulations. It's one of those things, if you do win it, obviously people last week didn't obviously say they won. Please, for God's sakes, send Lee a message. You hop on Facebook and send PC4 and on a message yeah. and say, hey, it's Lord Hero. Here's my address. Or do you know what? For God's sake, answer your effing emails. Yeah. Like, I yeah. sent an email like, and nothing, don't get a response. So, don't want to win it. But congratulations anyway. So, what we're going to do is from now, I will, now we do have the uh, PLE giveaway too. So, we'll do PC419, PLE. And that is... Guys, this is for the $50 PLE voucher, which you can use in conjunction with our discount code, yep. PC419VIP, on checkout would like to, to receive a further Exactly right. So I would, like, I would like to thank PLE. They've been a major supporter for PC419 as well since the start. Thank you, PLE. Um, thank you. Fantastic. Obviously, they're giving, us a, they're giving us a discount code, and the discount code isn't an affiliate code for PC419. That discount goes directly to you guys as a discount. So when you purchase from PLE.com.au, you'll be able to get that further discount on your purchase. All right, so in the mainstream, we've got that um, going, which has been fantastic. It's been a very big night for us, hasn't it? So NVIDIA giveaway, PC419's PC giveaway. I feel like it's tonight's just full of giveaways. It is like giveaway madness, really. It is. So um, bar from that, I think it's time to do the NVIDIA giveaway. I want to, I want to get that out of the way as well, to be honest. The what giveaway, sorry? The NVIDIA one, the other one. The blame one. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so that, that has ended. It has certainly. ended, yes. I just forgot that my thing wasn't working. We have met a couple of people that have said that they needed a new PC, so I think this falls at a pretty, it does, pretty yeah. good time, it I'd does. say. So, don't be wrong, guys. You you are the first guy. You you are going to be the first to actually know about it. Um, no one knows yet, but once we start, obviously advertising it on our social media. It will definitely get. A oh, lot we should of noise. give a big disclaimer. Mm. It's only people in Australia who can win this, and I'm not just saying that because Pingu's in here. Uh, yeah, in all true. honesty, it is an Australian-only giveaway. We want to see an Aussie person happy, is what we want to see. Guys, I'll put the link for the Gleam Comp in. Uh, where is it? Put the link for the Gleam Comp in the chat. It has 11 minutes left. I'm yep. going to refresh that just in case it's wrong. No, it says 11 minutes. Uh, it's got 11 minutes left for your chance to win the very, very, very last one of these packages. Which I'll show here. There you go. 11 minutes. And that's probably the last one. So, change that up now. God, it's boiling in here. Mm, it is absolutely boiling in here. So, how does this work? We We... Build a community PCs. We give away a PC. We give away everything, mm. and they don't even let us have the aircon. I oh, know. <laughs> See what we do for you. It is too loud. <laughs> but anyway, we will keep moving on. Nah, you're all good. You're all good. All right. So going back to what we we're talking about regarding our next topic, we'll do one or two <clears> more <throat> topics, and then we will do the yeah, the Gleam Comp. Yeah. Because it still has ten minutes. Yep. All right. So. Um. Apparently, there's been a lot of talk. Everyone's saying to ignore the Pixel Two. Oh, oh, just a Pixel. We're gonna leave the aircon off because it makes, makes me feel better blaming you. So yeah, that's <laughs> all right. Um, so apparently, we, we heard a lot, a lot of people saying to ignore the Pixel Two XL and buy just a Pixel Two standard. Yeah, because apparently it has screen burn. Apparently, so Big issues with burn. the Google Pixel Two XL. It displays sucks. I can't believe you wrote that. But anyway, <laughs> it's I, I literally <laughs> copied and pasted. Do you what, stop what, flicking what your. Thank you. <laughs> um, Google made the mistake by using a LG P-OLED panel on its new flagship over the superior OLED offered by Samsung. Why the hell would you do that? Um, the viewing angles are bad. The Thanks color performance this. is me mediocre. The owners may face <laughs> burn issues. Face burn issues mere weeks, weeks after, after buying, buying one. one. So will that be the? Um, do not guarantee where it's from because I think it's got. Does the Pixel? Does the Pixel two have the? Um, on, the, on, on always on display. Yes, it does. So I'm guaranteed that's where the, that's where the screen burn's coming from. It'd be it, I reckon it'd be a collaboration. It'd be a collaboration of the screen, how it's built, the mm. battery, where it sits, and the always on display. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be a bunch of them. I thought the screen burning saga would have ended by now. Oh, I thought the you numerous know, batteries the that, had, that had blown up and the, stuff I think would the have been. Plasma ended. screen was the screen burning issues. Tell me now. I know this, I'm talking like I'm you know in my late sixties. <laughs> Who here? Had a plasma screen 
that had a game running paused overnight <coughs> and screen burned their plasma. Mum and dad done it with... Um... Or had something running, paused it for like an hour or so, oh. went to go change and, this, and their plasma screen burned. My, my parents used to watch Channel 10 all day, every day. And you'd... Strampy, thank you so much for the for the. Uh, thank you, donations. Strampy. Appreciate cheers, it. mate. Um, yeah, my parents had always, always used to watch Channel 10 and they mm-hmm. used to you know change channel to Channel 7 or something. You still see the Channel 10 logo yeah, yeah, in yeah, the corner. Yeah. I remember one time I was playing Assassin's Creed. I was actually playing Assassin's Creed. Um, I think it was the first one, to be honest. And I, left oh, it on, I left it on. on I left it on overnight by accident, and it literally had the Assassin's Creed logo. Oh, really? Burnt into this middle of the screen. Yeah, I had to go. I can't believe I did this. I went and bought a. It was a. It was a disc from. It was a disc from eBay, right? That you put into your DVD drive. This is like a, your your DVD your DVD player. Does it like degorse the? No, but it does. Have you seen that um, that the screen burn remover? It's just like showing colors and it's just a white screen. Oh, is like, that what it like does? A, yeah, it pretty much just runs that for eight hours. Like you run a disc on there and you just put it for eight hours, and believe it, it or not, it. it actually fixed it. Wow, I couldn't okay. believe it. So it did like a rainbow RGB thing for about three hours, and then it goes white for like the next, next four hours, and it fixed it. And this was like this was the first plasma I owned, yeah. So this is why I never bought plasma. Yeah, well, yeah, it was yeah, it's just one of those things. So I'm just coming back to screen, but it reminds me of this. So I can see it being a benefit though, was that? having a plasma that that you can burn stuff into, because for somebody like Ozzy who gets 19 kills every game of PUBG, he can screen burn the 19 <laughs> kills on there <laughs> and just leave his chicken dinner there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be funny. So my team is great. So I did it once when I was a kid. I'll never forget the flocking I got from the day. <laughs> you know what? When it was my TV, it was actually mine. My, my um my now wife, she was she well when we got engaged, she bought me a plasma TV for as an engagement present because I bought her the ring. So she bought me she bought me a um I think it was a it was a, a forty two inch plasma. From burn, burn mother. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, like I was wrapped. This is when plasmas first came out at two and um yeah. It was one of those things, you know, I was so excited to get it. And with about two weeks having it, because you're so used to, like, I used to play so, like, so late at night once also. So when I was playing and then I fell asleep at like one o'clock in the morning and then woke up next morning and I turned it off. And as soon as I turned it off, the black screen went, it was this massive Assassin's Creed sign. And Leech, thank that you very much so for the follow. Ozzy, thanks for the $5.49 donation, much mate. Much appreciated, mate. Thank you. So, um... Yeah, let's, it does bring back memories. But going back, going back into it. So yeah, that, that scales well, doesn't it? Twenty k mm-hmm. for the ring, one k for the plasma. Pretty so it's, much, it's, yeah. It's a fair <laughs> scale. It's a fair trade. It's yeah. a fair, yeah. It's a fair trade. It's a um, fair trade. So the Pixel Two, yes, is a smaller, and yes, it doesn't have the expensive display its larger brother has. But the Pixel Two takes it uh, takes the good parts. Out, sorry, the Pixel Two, the Pixel Two yeah, yeah, takes yeah, yeah. all the good parts of the Pixel Two XL. And packages it into an ergonomic frame, which is actually true. So it's better to purchase the the Pixel Two than it is to pick, yeah, buy. Jesus, I it's inherited about, your burnness. Yeah. Um. Than it is to buy the Pixel Two XL. Long story short, because you skip all of the stuff that's wrong with the XL. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Lap Rocket Gaming, thanks for tuning in, mate. Hope you have a good day at work. Sleep well, brother. Sleep well, buddy. Um. Yeah. It was four dollars nineteen in AUD. Yeah, but it says five dollars forty nine USD. It's a bigger denominator, buddy. Yeah, mate. Makes you sound better. <laughs> Makes you sound better, man. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. So basically, for future reference, if you're going to go out and buy a Pixel, do not buy the Pixel Two XL. Exactly. Until they rectify the issues. But it looks so good. It does look good, and to be honest, besides them, them issues i've heard that the camera is magical oh yeah i've heard that the operating system is flawless and it has not chronic chronic thank you for the thank cheer, you mate. for the cheer, mate. thank you thank you um I, i've heard uh, was it you telling me that there's no bloatware on it no there's zero bloatware. there's zero bloatware on, on it. a google device that is amazing so mm. you know how samsung devices come with that knox crap and, and stuff like that when you turn it on bixby <laughs> big, <bleh. laughs> big shit bull, 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 bull shitsby <laughs> bull shitsby <laughs> Um, you don't get any of that. No, you don't. Look, I am actually... I just bought my Note 8, but my next phone that I will be getting once it gets released in Australia, just for the sake of getting the phone, because I want it, would be the Razer phone. Yeah, we're going to have to try it out. I'm going to... I'll, I'll, gonna I really want to try, try this 120 hertz screen. We're going to have to try it out. <laughs> Playing... What's, it, what's that game called? No, I don't know. 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 League of Legends mobile. <laughs> I can't mobile think. version. I cannot think. Um... <clears throat> PC for one eye, my mate got an XL and it's amazing. Literally, you know what? 
This is the first time when we... Is this, when, is this screen fine? When I did see this, hmm. um, when we did see the article, it was sort of hesitant was it true? Because, but... I've, I know a lot of people have, have, have actually got the XL and not one of them complain about screen burn yet. So it must be either a small portion or it's just time to get out. So yeah, people who yeah. just bought it haven't had that chance to actually go through it properly and it hasn't happened to them yet, but it may happen to them, you know, hopefully next month. But sorry, hopefully it doesn't happen to them within next month. And I hope that those who did buy the XL, I hope that you can take it back and get a replacement on it the spot. It was just a bad batch. Yeah. Could be just a bad yeah. batch as yeah. well from yeah. LG. Yeah. 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 It's a shame. It is, it is, it is, it is. Especially since the, uh, the pixel was a the hit. The Gleam Comp will be finished by now, I'm pretty sure. The Gleam Comp has two minutes left, guys. I'm going to chuck it up. Uh, President KK can't enter the Gleam Comp. It says it ended for you. Try on a different device. You want the Razer phone? Yes, yeah, so do I, Slick Man. It looks absolutely amazing, to be honest. There's three minutes left on that. Three minutes left. We're watching the Gleam Comp right now. It says three minutes left. I am not logged in, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm viewing anonymously just like you guys are. So I know it's definitely running. It's now gone to two minutes. Yeah. So um, going back to that, look, it's really going to be one of those things, you know, would, would they say be a phone of the year? I doubt it very much, to be honest. You're going to be... You're gonna, it, it, it's going to be a hard contender, I mm -hmm. reckon, this year, because there's so many new phones that come it out. It is, it is. So many new phones. Is the Razer phone dropping the, before the end of this year? It's really dropped out. Like it's, it, I think it's out in Europe already. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be stupid not to, especially for Christmas and exactly stuff. Right. All these exactly people right. wanting phones. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> There's two minutes to go. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes AEDT time. That is correct. Yes, one minute left. It has just flicked over to one minute. No, it has not. It is still two, literally any second. I'm watching it. Tick tock, the clock is going. Yes, that is correct. Now this is a really good idea. I'm actually going to go into the one and jump to this. So Microsoft have brought this idea out. So they will be looking at Microsoft soon. Let you cash in your achievements for credits. PlayStation have just started doing it. So what, Sony do, you, so what do you get out of it? You get credits, so you can use them in, in the store to buy games, to buy anything. Oh really? To buy anything you wish. So the more achievements you have, the more stuff you can buy for free. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Well, They'll be worth. The catch, catch twenty two is it'll be worth next to nothing. You will get like ten cents or five cents. I reckon it'll be, yeah, it'll be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even. Yeah. I reckon like ten yeah. achievements will yeah. be like ten cents. So re uh, it's available if you guys have a PlayStation Four. If you update your console to the latest, latest, which is five point four or something like that. I don't have a. Um, PS4. No, well, I've just got one, but I, <laughs> I don't play it. So, um, yeah. So if you update <clears> to the latest one, you already have that benefit to cash in your trophies. Then I can, or, or probably benefit the most will be streamers. So people, a lot of streamers that are playing consoles, that will be the Well, one streamers one. that grind new <clears> games, <throat> like COD just came out, you know, streamers that grind that, do zombies, <clears throat> do multiplayer, complete the campaign, they're going to have all the trophies possible. So they're going to reap the best reward. But <clears throat> I'm sure everyone has a good session. Yeah. Xbox Live rewards on its own lets you complete objectives to earn MS points but there wasn't a direct way to cash in your achievements beforehand. No. Uh, this might change in the near future. Mm -hmm. So basically, Microsoft are waiting to see how successful Sony are with it before making the move. Uh, it's a great way to keep players active as well um, because, you know, players earn trophies. Woohoo, the excitement's there when, you know, you've just defeated a big boss and you, and you get some trophy that's worth 30 points or something. Um, but it gives players a reason <clears throat> to put their old games in yep. and to earn the trophies in the games. You know what I mean? So I've actually bought... 10 Xbox 360 games that are, sorry, Xbox 360 compatible games, but there's like Sega games in there, like Double Dragon. Oh, um, classic game. It was Double Dragon, there was something else. Golden mm. Axe. You ever play Golden Axe? Golden Axe, yes. I used to love Golden Axe. I haven't played him yet, but I've downloaded him ready, so me and my son will be playing that. And they'll have achievements. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And that's it. The Gleam Comp has ended. Our final PC 419 giveaway has ended. For the night, um, the, it's the NVIDIA giveaway, 762. Awesome. Awesome. 762 entrants. That better bloody send us their address, <laughs> for God's sakes. I do the posting, guys, so I want to go to the post office. Give me a reason. All right. Besides posting demo stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to draw now. Just a quick reminder to you guys. Obviously, you've got... Um, if you do win, your email address will be shown. Can't do much about that. That is the disclaimer that you enter in. Good luck, guys. Good luck. The last package. 
the last last package. And the winner is Luke Healy. Luke Healy, congratulations, mate. Follow the last us, package. Follow us on gaming on Twitch. Boom. Congratulations. You're, you are a legend. You are a legend. You are a legend. Oh, it's Aussie Cobber. Is it Aussie Cobber? Yeah, it is. Some Aussie Cobber. <laughs> Where? His email address. Well, you can't see oh, it. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, why can't you see it? Oh, you're in the wrong thing. I can't see it's it. It's Aussie Cobber. Beautiful. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Congratulations, Luke. If you're in the chat, if he's in the chat, congratulations. If you are not, we'll get in contact with you. And if he doesn't get in contact with us by next Tuesday, I'll be giving away his prize. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, on PC4 Again, 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 again. Congratulations, Luke. Yeah, congratulations, mate. Last package, last video package is yours, man. We are literally touching it right now. I'm sorry. Um, I'll send it off to you very, very soon. As soon as you let us know that you're here or something. There you go. Matt has a crush on the guy who serves him at the post office. <laughs> it's not a guy, it's a girl, and her name is Sandy, right? Oh, Sandy. Get it, get it right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it congratulations. Right. It is... 9.32. Now, what do you guys think? Before we do go in the chat, what do you guys think we'll actually have? Actually, you know, we've got one more to go. PLE giveaway. We oh, we do too. Yes. <gasps> PLE voucher. I almost forgot about the PLE giveaway. PLE giveaway. Yes. Entrance yes. has closed and we are <coughs> going to pick a winner. One, two, three. Winner. Winner. Sus Criminal. Sus Criminal. Congratulations. Sus criminal. Steve, congratulations, mate. You have won yourself the PLE $50 voucher. Which he does not need because he just spent a shaft load on his new machine. Oh, did he? <laughs> congratulations, but, buddy. It doesn't matter. But. Congratulations, man. You might need a headset. Congratulations, Much, No buddy. worries, mate. We'll get it. Uh, PMS. PME. PMS. PMS. <laughs> PME on... PM me on Facebook. And we'll get your details and we'll get that PLE voucher out to you. Thank you. Congratulations, mate. Maybe you can buy like a like a headset, a ROG headset or something to follow your theme. Or you yeah. can buy that Claymore, uh, sorry, that Claymore, that um, Spartha that you wanted. Yes, the Spartha. Who knows? Who knows? With your $50, $50 voucher and the VIP discount code, and we'll give you a bit more than that. Yeah, exactly right, man. Exactly right. ROG Spartha, here we go. I've actually got one too, buddy. <laughs> Matt and I have <laughs> Matt and I bought They one are the, the, the best mouse ever. I love it. Uh, Ice Chariot says, I'm suffering from some PMS because I didn't win. We're oh. sorry. Hopefully, we can make it up to you and you can win a PC. Hopefully. Yes, that's exactly right. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll, I'll cross my fingers. So, let us know in the chat, guys. What do you think um, of PC419? Big announcement. Was it well worth it? Was it well worth the wait? Um, Lee always did say, you always did say that at 5K followers on Facebook, he would do something special. So. I did. I did. And he kept his promise. I did, as always. Always try to. And thank you, everyone, for joining in today. Thank you, Matt, for joining in as well. No, no worries, man. Constantly, no worries. No like worries. I said, it would not be talking tech without you as well. So thanks, man. Um, much appreciated to everyone who's joined in. Congratulations to all the winners, and congratulations to the next winner of Talking Tech, which will be on the twenty seventh of December for the PC the massive PC giveaway. PC giveaway. Thank guys. you, everyone, for joining in, and Let's we'll see hype. you guys next Tuesday. Thank you to all the sponsors. See you then. Tune in at, uh, at on our Discord too if you guys aren't uh, already members because the Glam Comp will be going up there first, by yes, the way, before we finish that. Cheers, guys. Have a great night. Have a good one. Thank you for the donations and the See follows. See you later. Thank you.